three from one artist, Electrolyte Orchestra, Jeff Lynne there, one step at a time. Love that song. Remember playing that in the, uh, when we did Radio Dave, mate, for the uh, marathon. Oh. Yeah, one step at a time. All right, talking of time, it's time for our Triple F. It's time for this. So, now, everyone, Dave Lawrence, there are many people who are going to be able it's time, for, <laughs> it's time for the foreign film feature. And <laughs> here we go. Let's get those bongos in. Come on. That's the ones. Come on. Yeah, it's our foreign film feature, which I guess we should say international film feature. But we're not. It's our foreign film feature. We've got Mike here. Mike. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello, hello. All right, we are going to Tunisia this week for our fifth and final nomination for the international film feature for the Oscars, which are happening on April 26th, the night of the 26th. All right, so the film is called... The man who sold his skin. All right. And so here's the premise of the film. All right. It's a Syrian refugee in Lebanon allows his back to become a canvas for a famous tattoo artist. Soon collectors become interested in this work of art. Directed by Calder Ben Hania. All right, Mike, what did you think? I liked it. I'd kind of, <laughs> I did. Yep, yep. I did, I did. I'd kind of built it up because we've been trying to get hold of it for so long. I really built it up in my head that it was going to be great. And, yeah, it was very difficult because it's not actually fully released until what in June. I yeah, think, yeah, isn't yeah it? it's not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And the the trailer was amazing. So the trailer made it look good. Yeah, I'm with you. It kind of like uh, was really looking forward to the film. Yeah. You know, it's exciting because the other four nominations, as we know, are, are quite strong very films. Very strong, very strong. And so, okay, so what did you like about this film? I mean, the sort of lighting and the cinematography was stunning throughout the film. I did like the whole idea and concept of the film. I thought it was a good concept and a good storyline. Because basically, I was reading, actually, it's loosely inspired by a work by the Belgian artist Wim Dolvoye. All right, so it's partly, uh, and so we're basically, so in this film, we know that there's this kind of eccentric sort of tattoo artist. Yeah. Uh, and he's kind of used this Syrian refugee, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, okay, so you were mentioning earlier about how it would have been different if they would have done a different angle on the film. Yeah, so about halfway through the film, I was just thinking, I wonder whether this would have made a better film as either a horror or a comedy it kind of needed just that little something else okay and then and then i said well i think i think it could have gone a lot darker it would have been yeah. more powerful this film um there are some sort of it's got some dark themes of like basically exploiting this syrian refugee yeah. and there's some elements of where the protesters are around about yeah. it and stuff um but um I reckon they could have dug a lot deeper in that in that way to have made it more powerful. I think they kind of sold themselves a bit. Yeah, they did it a little bit subliminally, didn't they? they sort of like tried to like all the references to the exploitation were kind of not really. No, and I reckon it would have been great if they would have dug deeper on that. Yeah. I and it would have made it more hard hitting, I think. Yeah. Um, whereas instead, I think they kind of gone down the kind of the soft route. Yeah, I think you said to me earlier, um, a little bit of Hollywood. They've Hollywooded it? it up, yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, with a romance and bit, which is good, you know, yeah. and, and that relationship is good. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, so, that's um, yeah, so, okay, so what would you give it out of 10, that film? I think I'm going to go a seven again. You're going seven? Yeah. I think Look, so. I think six and a half, seven. Yeah, mm. sounds about right. Because, um, as you know, uh, and as I keep saying, I mean, it's it's really interesting now because we've seen all five yeah. nominations. All right. Just to recap, the other four films which are in this category for the Oscars are Quo Vadis Aida. Yep. There was The Collective uh, from Romania. There was Better Days from Hong Kong. 
There was uh, this one from Tunisia, and then there was another round, another round from Denmark. All right, so which one do you think is going to get it, Mike? I mean, I'm for another round. That, I think, is my... F- I don't know. It's, I think it is my favourite because it's the first one out of the Oscar ones we saw. Yep, and, and, I loved and it. look, it was it was good. So where, what, which other one do you think... Better Days. Be I think Better days. days is kind of the other... It's the other big contender. Look, yeah. as I said, all the others. Uh, I would say, actually, this one, The Man Who Sold His Skin... Probably the weaker of the five, to be really yeah. naughtily honest. But anyway, it's still, it was a good film. You but know, it, it's it's very arty. So, yes, yeah, it is arty. But to be honest, I think they could have gone a lot deeper with the art bit. Yeah. I think just because of the other films are so hard hitting, I think it it that's why it lacked it. It don't. I don't think as a standalone film, it necessarily maybe lacked too much of that but as one of the contenders for these for this oscar right right well look i mean and i think we're both in agreement that another round is the strong contender for the oscar um it got the bafta uh but heck who knows but what we what we can positively say is i think all five are worth watching absolutely now um uh this one we're not sure where we can get the man who sold his skin yeah we were lucky to um get hold of it but um yeah i think it's just going to be one of those ones that you have to wait for isn't it yeah and i think all of them uh i would we'd, we'd thoroughly recommend it from the dave Lone radio show quo Vardis, aida collective better days man who sold his skin and another round so actually looking forward to the oscars so um 26th and night it's probably early monday morning that the results will sort of be coming out so do listen out for that and what we may do we were thinking we were talking about okay consequent weeks for the triple f the future we will we probably will look into any of the foreign films that have come up in any of the other categories like screenplay for example so we'll probably delve into those in consequent weeks because heck i mean they've been nominated for oscars so they must be pretty good so worth a review all right, thanks, Mike. Uh, let's Thank say you. good luck to another round for the Oscars. Right, in the meantime, we normally always have a Link song. So, The Man Who Sold His Skin, we've got to play this one. Mm-hmm. 